In this video, we will learn how to add background layers to Mic Urban Plus. I've told you that our CS network is located in New Zealand. However, so far we haven't had a closer look on the area where the network is located. In order to add a background layer, we need to go to the tab Layers and Symbols, which we have looked on in the previous video. Click on Add Layer and a new window will open up. In this window, we can specify our layer type and its properties. If you click on the drop down arrow next to layer type, you can see that many different layers can be added as a background layer. The first background layer that we want to add is an image layer. With the three dots next to the file name, the image layer can be selected. In the folder module one, you can find the subfolder named background layer. Click on New Zealand underline map dot tiff and open it. As the image is spatially referenced, a world file is located in the same folder as well. Therefore, we choose the option that the coordinates should be read from the world file. Click on OK to add the layer. The layer is added at the bottom in our layers list. If you right click on the added layer, you can find the option zoom to layer. We can now see the background image. In Mic Urban Plus, it's possible to load a background map from the internet. In the ribbon map, you will find the option background map. Note that next to this symbol, we also find the option Add Layer, which leads to the same window as before. Some tools are located in various places. If you click on Background Map, a new window opens and you can decide whether you want to see a background map and which background map you want to see. Now I decide that I want to see the OpenStreetMap and tick the option. If I switch back to Map View, the OpenStreetMap has already been loaded. Note that you need a good internet connection to make this option possible. You can turn it off if you don't need it or if it's not working smoothly due to the internet connection.